Yeah, pile. So next up is this one here in the box. So it's a, um, I had this for a little while, it's a Tamiya um, Comical Avanti. And um, yeah, I wanted this one because it looks cool. It's um, four wheel drive, it's, you know, it's got quite a good um, ground clearance on it. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, that when we go out on the trail, you know, using the FTX Outback crawler, we can then, um, we don't normally bring the, the Tamiya lunchbox, which is, which is really, really good. But if this, as this, as this is four wheel drive, and it's got also got you know, reasonably good ground clearance, it might provide, might prove a little bit, a bit better when we're sort of just going around the trails, you know, the tree roots, that kind of stuff, because of course it's four wheel drive, but I need to sort of obviously try it and see if the short wheelbase, you know, if is, is, a, is a pain or not, or if it actually works really well, who, who knows, but it's a cool one. So yeah, it comes here in this large Tamiya box. So we have a little look now. So here we go, boom. Let me flip this round. And there we are. And there we go. So that is pretty, it's pretty damn sweet. Look at that. So as you see here, it comes with an electronic speed controller, forward and reverse, the standard 540 motor, which is also what I like. Um, as I mentioned, four wheel drive, um, good ground clearance, grippy tires. Obviously, it looks. I think it looks ultra cool as well. So let's check this out. So I've not even look, not looked in the box yet. Also, I've um, obviously watched a few reviews online. And obviously, PS, I'll, I'll be uh, keeping that Tamiya box. You know, <laughs> of course, that be that be straight up in the loft with a few Tamiyas in. Right here we go. Let's have a look at this then. So it's got yeah four wheel drive on here. It's all obviously as you can see here. There's no drive shaft. It's all it's all gears, which is interesting. It's the GF um, 01 chassis. Um, like I mentioned, it comes with the, the with them. It says on here, not included, but it does. This particular one does come with the speed controller. So um, probably a should the speed controller is probably the one which um, I forget what model it is now, but it comes as brushed and not and um, brushless, which is cool. Yeah, as I said, I've got a servo. Had that, and um, that came. That's about eight pounds for a, just just a generic cheap metal servo. Some impact bumper on the front. There's a few upgrades you can do, I believe, to have a full length bumper. Um, I've also got the bearing kit as well, which I've ordered a while ago, which is I've got, which is quite a lot of bearings. I'm not sure exactly you can not count them, but maybe sort of twenty, twenty-two bearings, that sort of number. It looks like you know there's about twenty bearings which are the same size, and then, then um, there's two bearings which are much much smaller, which are potentially I'm guessing the gearbox. Uh, items that's how it is anyway on a normal, normal Tamiya so it's just excuse the uh, horrendous camera work and just fil film it on that quickly oops there we go let's move that out of the way boom yeah so they're um, um, quite firm I mean certainly much firmer than the um, FTX Outback crawler tyres are um, probably similar to that um, here we go, there's a the speed controller. Yep, so it comes with a brushed and brushless speed controller, the standard one, which I really, I really like this one. It's a TBLE O2S. So I've got that pretty much in, pretty much all of these have this one in. I think um, actually all of them have that, I think. So that's good. So as I say, the, the modern one also is dirt cheap, you know, it's, it's about 17 pounds to buy that. Um, body shell, lovely. Comes, say, um, as you see here, pre-sprayed, pre the holes cut out. And then you just need to go around um, and, and cut it out. So normal technique is you go around and you score it out normally with a really sharp knife. And then you sort of bend it backwards and forwards and, and sort of, uh, well, actually then you you normally score around the outside. Then I, then I'm um, able to cut into it up to the joint, cut into up here. And then I then bend this piece here backwards and forwards and then it just snaps off. And then I'd cut from from here into the next joint, bend, and then and so on and so on. You don't, I mean, I, I wouldn't just cut around with scissors. You know, that's kind of like the technique that I, that I think works really, really well from when I've done a few a few shells. Put that there. But yeah, that's sweet. I mean, it saves you having to spray it, spray it and mask it and all that sort of stuff. Quick look underneath here. We're not under a full on view because there's loads of videos on here which are probably way better than this. So, yeah, you've got the little man, little driver. Um, loads of nice bits and bobs. Which is cool. It's all good. This is obviously the chassis parts there. And then we've got the nice um, wheels, which you know, sort of slight sort of play on the uh, original Avanti wheels. 
loads of plastic, loads and loads of gears. It's interesting to know actually what, why they did it with um, gears and not like a drive shaft. And then there's obviously going to be a reason, um, a valid reason, but it's just interesting there's no drive shafts, you know, for it. Or prop shaft, if you maybe you've got a prop shaft. Yeah, and you get a nice big heavy bag of bits there. So the standard motor, um, loads of, sort of clips, all the plastic brushings, which also I'm not going to be using. You can see here, there's a lot in there. You know, there's, there's two small ones and about 20, 20 large ones. But that's really heavy. Um, you have the center parts of the wheels as well. And instructions. So we've got a sticker. There's a tube in there for the aerial. You've got the different um, um, uh, um, faces and eyes and bits and bobs you can have on your, on your character, which is cool. And there's your stickers there, which is good. Naturally, it's nice to see these actually because these are the sorts of stickers here that potentially, if these were anywhere the same size, you know, you might better use these um, on if you're repainting your Avanti because when you go and buy stickers off eBay, the reproduction ones, and I've got I've got it on my box art Avanti, the yellows is nowhere near the quality of the yellow is on there. It's much much more sort of bleached, washed out. So this one here, been original stickers. And they look, looks the same shade. These possibly, you know, might come in handy for when people want to respray an original body and want original stickers, you know, because imagine there'd be people breaking these for parts, a normal procedure. So yeah, there we go. There's all the bits and bobs, so it's all looking good. Yep, so um, the plan is I'm going to build this um, at some point uh, over the next week. And then, yeah, then just, um, I've got some um, um, Flysky electronics to put in it and so obviously the bearings, leave it all standard um, and just run it around and, and see how it is. Um, future plan is to change the motor for a torque tuned or a sport tuned, but I'm gonna sort of see how it handles because if, if it's wheel, like wheeling you know, all over the place, you know, then you probably don't really want to add any additional power potentially, we'll, we'll see, you know. Cool, there we go, thank you, cheers. Yep, hi all. So it's looking really nice, so as you can see here, it's basically built. Um, still got a few things to, to do. Still want to sort of neaten up the wiring, get it at the best position. Obviously, put the switch in one of these two positions down here. Um, I currently got one aerial. As you see, I'm running 27 megahertz um, via the aerial. Um, can, there's obviously another slot as well, and here for another aerial. So I potentially just cut this aerial down in half, so it's half and half, so it looks nice and even. It looks pretty sweet. Um, I haven't mounted these bits and bobs yet because I want to basically put the shell on and then of course once you put the shell on then, then you can see where the wiring sits you know and then get the best position you know what and also once the driver's in as well so you get the optimal position so you don't sort of see so much wiring through here plus also the body shell just goes straight on with no sort of um faffing about so yeah this is a shell totally sweet it comes pre-painted pre from Tamiya which is excellent absolutely lovely so i'm gonna um, cut that out later what, what does I'll, I'll probably score around it and then sort of make cuts and then break each piece off um same for the spoiler at the back and there's some some sort of additional bit of plastic here or something as well so that's good but yeah i'll follow the follow the instructions and go from there oh actually that's a good point yeah so these are obviously the clear lenses as well i did um wonder about those actually so yeah they, they go in there which is cool and i might even paint these as well i'll see but yeah, that looks really good. I just had a quick, quick, quick whiz around the garden, and it yeah, it's really nice. Obviously, it's not overly, overly as fast as the lunchbox here. Of course, it's four wheel drive, but yeah, it really nice. Steers so nice. I mean, this the grip on this is beautiful, and, and you say you can wheel it you know um, easily, but not stupid easily. You can also do the you know the endo thing where you get the brake on, and the back end comes up, and it feels really controlled. You know when you're sort of giving it a bit of a tight turn. Obviously, that's just a spin drown, which is great. This one here sort of obviously grips much more, so it sort of spins and sort of goes upright a little bit. So yeah, really nice. Um, running 27 at the moment, so that my that way my son um, he runs 27 on his there, and then I then run 2.4 gigahertz on my on my one. So there's absolutely zero interference, but I will at some point upgrade his cars to another 20 so another 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, and then obviously new receivers. So that's a, sort of a future thing for, for him. But for now. 27 megahertz is um, is sweet. So flick over here. So I went that went down the shop, brought lots of um different paints to it to add to the collection I've already got. So um yeah got the black, black r rimmel, which is nice, and then um say the silver, metallic silver. And this is really nice actually because, 
uh, I don't know if you can sort of see or not, but it's got um, sort of sparkly effect in there. So that's another pretty bling. Um, you can sort of see it there on the on the visor. So yeah, just following following the, the sort of code, the the, the, the sort of paint codes. So, yeah, and getting it looking nice. And so skin coloured pink there, pretty much for that. And I'm gonna leave that part white to put the stickers onto the Tamiya just to sort of try and do as box art as possible. Um, that's some leftover paint from my my Avanti uh, repaint as well. So you can see the gloves look sweet. So yeah, looking cool. Nice one. There we go. So yeah, now I'm gonna cut. So cut out, cut out this, lob that on, see how it looks, sort the wiring out, clean uh, clean this up, put the stickers on, and then just um, have a go, fettle the steering, and go from there. Cool. Right. Up. So the technique to um to cut out the body shell is pretty easy. So you need a, a high quality sharp standing knife blade, and all you do is when it's obviously attached to the full mould, all you do is you basically just um, get a really get the get this get the body shell in a good light basically so you can see uh, the line and obviously hold it at the right angle so when you're cutting when you're cutting using your knife you can obviously still follow the direction of the line it's really important and so you have to do it nice and slowly so all you need to do really is basically just hold hold it hold it firm and then you just score all the way around this is just I just go around once with a nice sharp blade obviously you can feel it cutting in all the way around like that and then I then cut out the rough cut out the rough um, the rough sort of body, so cut you know, cut an inch around the outside, and the whole thing. And then you need sh sharp quality scissors, basically. I find these ones here work really nicely. And all you do is you just um, I just make make lines, you know, every sort of you know, inch roughly. Obviously, on the bends, you need to have um, a shorter gap between each one. And once you then cut, once you then sort of scored like this, you then effectively um, just bend it backwards. So I just want to see if I can sort of do it one-handed or not. All you do is you basically just bend that piece backwards, as you see there, and forwards, and then the set comes off. And you get basically a pretty much perfect finish. And obviously afterwards, once I've done it, I'll just go around literally with a just a light bit of sand, sandpaper, just to sand off any sort of slight little marks. Otherwise, it's that comes off pretty much spot on. So yeah, do the whole thing like that. But the main thing is to score it properly with a sharp knife um, the right, the right angle, so you can sort of see, see, so you can see the line. You can follow it down slowly and go round. Cool, excellent. Yep, hi everyone. So it's all done. Looking absolutely beautiful. So I just had a quick um, couple of goes around the card, and really, really nice. And there he is. There's Paranoid Perry. Is it all in pretty much box art, um, nail varnish, paint uh, polish to do that. But yeah, really nice. Give it a rev. Shut off. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Right, let me just switch this off. Let me just switch this off a minute. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Absolutely be absolutely beautiful. Really nice um, car to make. Um, loads and loads of bits. Not overly, overly complex, but still lots and lots of bits. So it's really, really good fun. Um, just running on standard nickel hydras and as I said, 27 meg at the moment for that. Um, just a few additional stickers on there. And like I said, I've just I painted him in um, using uh, nail varnish paint because it's like cheap, you know, uh, really good. And say so the blue here is actually some leftover blue from a Tamiya from a Tamiya Avanti, an original one which is in the same colour. So I was able to do the gloves the same colour as the body shell. So yeah, um, all looking good. All stickers are on. Dries really nice. Um, it's you know it's quite quick. It's quite it's rel relatively relatively quick. You know, it's a basic motor with four wheel drive, so it's, it's definitely sort of fast enough. You know, for running around the garden, over ramps, all that sort of stuff. I'll probably upgrade it to the sport tuned because I just like the sport tuned motor. That's, you know, you know, it's nice having a little bit of extra grunt and not using too much extra battery power. Wheelie bar's good. Um, just weight distribution on on the car is really nicely, so you can go over, you know, sort of skateboard sort of style scooter ramps and jump it. You know, and get a bit of sort of bit of this action here. And it lands quite quite evenly, so it's really nice. It's quite heavy, relatively heavy, I would say. You know, um, but I'm really pleased. Oil filled shocks are nice, um, highly adjustable uh, on here. And again, you can lower the car as well if you don't want it to sort of wheelie and things as you know as much. Um, when you when you gun, gun it, you know it wheelies, but it doesn't wheelie ridiculous. It's not like you know um, 
maybe like other cars are like say the lunchbox mini which wheelies unbelievably easy this does wheelie but not not ridiculously easy you know and you can also go along as well and say jam on the brake and you can do a sort of front end front end what they call an endo and sort of stop it that way so it's, it's perfect um I'm, my controller and the speed controller set up for forward brake and then reverse which seems to work spot on i might try it you know as forward and reverse and just to see but i've got a feeling that you know that might possibly roll it over at least with the brake function on it you can you can do your endo back down again job done happy days so yeah i'm really liking it um i've put on the additional lights on the front kind of come with it um i might take off these two possibly and just leave two i'm not sure yet you can also i've also seen people flip over the flip over the bumper as well you know, if you want, if you don't want to run these, you can flip it over. Let me, it's a little bit more, a bit more like an Avanti bumper. Um, I'm also running some lights here. Um, you can put LEDs in these if you want to, but I'm just running them as, as they are. So I'll probably leave them on, you know. It looks, looks pretty good with them on, you know. Um, yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Way prefer this than the, than the Lunchbox Mini, which is an indoor car. This one here is an outdoor car on long grass over ramps, you know, around the forest, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's, it's really, really, really good can't can't praise this this thing enough so yeah look at that totally sweet totally sweet so yeah there we go and so you'll see a few shots now of me running it but i absolutely think it is quality definitely a card everyone should have in their collection for a bit of fun cool nice one